In this video, we will be going to make X to ASCII art converter using Python and then we will use developed ASCII arts in our other Python program files. So let's get started. We will start by creating main.py in an okay. So here is my main.py and the library we will be using for Python ASCII art is called pyfiglet. So let's start by importing py f i g l e t. Okay, so it's pyfiglet. And first you need to install pyfiglet. I have already installed it. So it's just basic pip command and I'm showing you how to do it. So pip install and then py f i g l e t pyfiglet. So it should say requirement satisfied. Okay, requirement already satisfied because I have installed pyfiglet beforehand. So let's dive into coding part and you have inst uh, installed pyfiglet by using pip install pyfiglet and then import it by putting pyfiglet and then we have to give a variable. So I will give text variable and then you need to go pyfiglet pyfiglet and then from there figlet format okay so as said pyfiglet class we will be calling pyfiglet format and here's everything basically it looks like it's a lot of work making ASCII arts but it's so simple that all the things you have to do is just this much just these two lines of code has created your ASCII art so I will just go with hello world okay hello world and then print it out so print txt txt okay good so it should be running so i will go on terminal real quick and then main.py and here you go so he so here's our pi figlet ascii art and but this is not much you don't need to just have a single font with ascii and you can have multiple fonts with it so to list all fonts in pyfiglet, we will just go in our terminal and write pyfiglet and then dash dash list fonts, f-o-n-t-s, list fonts. Okay, so it's a lot of fonts, if you can see. It has more than 350 fonts as I have tried. It has more than 350 fonts currently. So how to use these fonts? All you need to do is just in your string, just add comma and then type font is equals to and then there are many fonts you can look up in the terminal thing as I showed you. Let's go with, let's see it again and pick a font by figlet list fonts. So let's take this one. So we will go with uh, uh, hello world string font is equals to xtty. I haven't seen this font, that's why I'm choosing this. So let's save it real quick and then pi main.py and it will return okay. So it's not a font, okay, okay. So font is also a string, so you need to have your colons and then we'll run it again and it should run okay so it has a different font now as xtty you can look uh, look up in the library and choose your favorite font or you can use a for loop to just print all of the fonts if your computer will have so much memory because it's like 350 fonts so let me show you another example let's take this font i like this font because and just we'll go with pi main dot pi as simple as that so it printed out hello world so this is all good but how you will use it and you can't just print every time you have a program so what we need to do first off we will save this hello world in a text file so just copy it okay so let me copy it with control plus c 
and then we will make a new text file let's call it text.txt as text file we will paste it here and here you go your file is ready for hello world and now using it in an another program so what we will do is make a new program let's name it new.py and here we will not use pyfiglet or any library that we have used before but we will use just some simple commands to extract this hello world art to your pi because you see many arts are there not just text art you can use photo ASCII arts and you need to call in in a file in a new python file or new python program or software so how you will do that so the new file in the new.py we have new.py and then first import import system and os because we can use it in them because they are like basic functions and basic stuff okay so first we will need to open our file so how will we will be doing that just define a variable to store in your file and then open okay let me check the recording okay good then we have to open the file so we have this text.txt as i have shown you text.txt so open text.txt and then read only we will go with comma r which is defining read only file then the fact is that we need to convert all of these lines into strings so this is a line this is a line this is a line everything has a line and we need to create a string out of that so we will go with another variable ascii and then empty string dot join okay join variable f that we have the files and then read lines okay good so here what we are doing that f is our having our files text dot text that we have defined here and then now we will convert each line from this each hello world line each string uh, each line into a string so to do that we have an empty string and then now we will print out the fact or the thing we have just created so we will go with print oh, sorry print print and then text in a text format we will go with ascii as variable and to make it look better i will go with clear screen so os dot system this is some basic stuff that clear out okay wait a second okay so cls for windows clear for linux so what we will be doing here is first clean up the command prompt that anything you have or powershell anything you have and then read uh, open the file as read only read lines and convert it into the strings and then print it out so it should work now okay so text is not defined okay i'm sorry okay so it says text is not defined and yes yes i forgot that we just need to print out ascii and we are not using colors here just black and white so we will use ascii and then now it should run okay good so now it has read the lines cleared this uh, cleared the screen i read these lines and have printed exact thing that we wanted to print without making the whole file and without importing the file and then creating it so to give you an example how it works so i will write here maybe youtube and then save it and then if we recompile it and so see here it has youtube written so this is working absolutely fine so only these three files you can use using only these three files you can use an ascii art thanks for watching make sure you like this video and subscribe and stay tuned because we will be doing version 2 of friday ai if you have not seen friday ai Go check it out. I will give all the links in description and all the necessary links are in description. Thanks for watching.